What we try to focus on is domesticated species, uh, animals that uh, genetically were selected over many generations to live with and around human beings. Sheep, goats, chickens, farm animals, even our camels. Camels are a domesticated species. The, uh, the reason we do that is, is they tend to be more predictable, safer, and more interactive, and they enjoy being around people once accustomed. The one exception is our wildlife center, and we do work with birds of prey and rehabilitate uh, a certain number of primarily local birds. And um, so those wild animals are somewhat different, and we interact with them differently too, because you know they are not pets. And so the paradigm shifts as we work in that area. We also have a lot of gardens and plants, and we find horticulture super important. And the idea and the concept here is that the children interact with animals and plants from morning until evening. So the moment they step out of their dormitory, they might encounter a peacock, or they might see one of the shelter dogs being taken for a walk. So having the diversity of animals um, is really important. Uh, we also uh, don't match children with individual animals. And that's a question a lot of people ask. What we really do is we present all types of different animals and the gardens, and the children find what interests them. So you can be dead wrong. You predict that this little girl will want to have a little bunny. She wants to be with the big draft horse. Or you have the tough football player, and he wants to you know, be with the big draft horse. Well, he wants the little bunny. So the children tend to find in the animals what they need and what they are looking for at that time.